okay let's start by creating new laravel project with laravel new store locator so in my case it already exists just wait for it to finish installing once that is done okay so i've opened uh, the project in PHP storm so let me quickly go through all setup step although uh, i've already completed uh, these step uh, i've also listed these instruction in github repo you can follow there uh, follow the instruction listed there okay let me go through those steps quickly so first thing we want uh, we uh, you you might not have this .env file so just save it as .env file and and i've uh, i put all information like database name username and so to generate this key just run php artisan key generate and it will generate key okay so after that is done uh, we'll migrate we'll create our table in this database so we'll run php artisan migrate to create a users table for now and once user table is created uh, we'll run php artisan make auth just to create all the boilerplate all the dependencies okay once php artisan make auth is done you'll have uh, this layout so my app layout looks like this again i'll put this starter template on github you can download from there to get started okay so i i've, I've done php artisan make auth just to make uh, these boilerplate by default okay after that uh, we are done with uh, this laravel stuff now uh, we need to install all npm dependencies I'll list it on package.json so to install all these will uh, I've already run npm install okay so after npm install is done first thing we'll install is uh, beautify to, to make uh, the templates okay so uh, go to beautify.js and in get started section so uh, if you are making new application this is for you but uh, we are uh, implementing this on existing uh, application so we'll install it by this so I don't want to spend much time on this installation stuff just install these and then uh, copy add these to just go to app.js inside resources assets JS and you just need to import uh, beautify and use it as beautify that's it for now just ignore these so it will integrate the beautify with view so it will just add uh, js components in order to integrate uh, this uh, you also need this css so just to integrate that just copy that and let's go to app dot actually scss so it will uh, be also inside resources assets and uh, i've imported that like so so this tilde sign will go to node modules folder and then beautify distribution beautify dot min dot css also i've commented uh, this uh, this bootstrap and uh, these variables because we don't need them we don't need bootstrap uh, since we are using beautify css and this scss and this js file are compiled using a laravel mix so you might know these basic stuff but i'm just repeating if anyone new is watching so yeah these app.js and app.scss will get compiled inside and that will be inside js app these two file so these two file corresponds to these two file and in our layout dot app we are referencing these two files so asset css and asset js and as you can see i've uh, removed everything and just uh, included this soft layout uh, component which is beautify component which we'll add next so after uh, beautify is installed uh, we'll uh, include our 
template beautify predefined template so i find a uh, cool layout inside this application layout and predefined layout section you'll see uh, many predefined layouts so one uh, that i used in this project is this one and uh, just go to source and here just click on raw uh, raw and just copy that and let's head back to our project and let's close everything let's and open up app.js inside resources asset.js and here so this is example component that ships in by default and here I've defined this shop layout view component so for now just uh, ignore these and uh, just create this component so uh, I've created this component inside this asset.js shop layout and just paste it here everything that we copied okay so now we have this app layout uh, shop layout uh, component which we, uh, we can use in our layout app like so okay so in web.php I have this uh, this only one route home route and which is pointing to so this is uh, this comes by default everything is default I haven't added anything so let's go to home controller and I've disabled this auth for now we don't need if we if we need in future we just enable it and that's why I've used that here we are loading the home view make sure to run npm run watch okay once that is compiled down if we go to the okay so you'll see uh, that exact template so I've used, uh, I've, I've used this template in layout app uh, what we can do is just yield the content and inside home we'll just use that same thing okay so uh, this is the basic layout and now uh, next we'll need a uh, Google map so the easiest way to in integrate the Google map with view uh, so otherwise you can easily make a new component and do that uh, if you want we can do that in other video so uh, to avoid uh, that repetitive uh, task we, we can use this view to Google Maps plugin which is uh, really popular you can see download in last day okay so let's start by installing this so we'll keep uh, this running and open up new terminal okay once that is done installing we can so the way I integrated this is uh, just see, uh, copy these two line and let's go to let's close everything let's go to resources assets js and app.js and here I've included that so I've imported so we can use these two lines so we have pasted these two lines which you copied from here and here uh, you need to use this key and use this places so to get key uh, here is a very clear instruction you can follow that so generate and Google Maps API key just go to this URL and just follow along very easy okay after this package uh, is done installing then the way I integrated this in my application is by using this making a new template so let's create a new template new component so in same file app.js I've defined a new component shop map so we already created this layout and then I create this shop map component go to that component and and you can copy this whole thing this template up to here yeah, you don't need to copy this this stuff let's go back and let's just paste it up to here okay and this data step you can you can copy from here so inside the script tag we have these two these component okay so basically we are using this uh, gmap 
component provided by that uh, package and inside that component we are uh, creating marker and we are looping through all these markers listed here and displaying that marker inside that map and uh, this is just a component uh, named shop map and we need to use this inside shop layout so let's go to shop layout and inside here inside content section we can use that so I'll just remove this everything and I'll delete this so inside this V layout I will use shop map that component there we go so we can see map yeah we can increase the size of map so let's go to shop map and make it uh for now let's 1200 pixels and ph all right so that looks good okay so this is uh, the starter template uh, you can just download this from github if you just uh, want to skip all these setup steps so we'll change this text uh, we'll make this whole thing new component so uh, the our strategy is uh, we have this one component uh, google uh, gmap uh, sorry shop map uh, and we'll create this other template uh, this other component uh, called results and uh, we'll make this input field uh, other component like place search or anything we'll name that so main idea is uh, these three components will communicate with each other so when someone search and it will uh, fire an event or it will fetch the data from backend and fire the event so that uh, here we can load markers and here we'll load uh, the results related to this search okay so this is all set up part uh, next we'll uh, create these components and uh, each component uh, this component will fetch the result from backend and we'll create all our backend structure in next video so i'll see you in the next video please subscribe and turn on notification to get notified about our next video thank you for watching